Hi everyone, my name is Pavitra V, Department of Chemistry. Today in this class, we are going to discuss nanowires. Nanowires comes under nanotechnology topic in which it is the study of nanomaterials and its applications. Nanomaterials are nothing but whose size is varying in a nanoscale. So we have so many applications of nanowires. First, we will discuss the definition of nanowires. These are especially attractive for nanoscience studies as well as for nanotechnology applications. Because of their unique density of electronic states, nanowires in the limit of small diameters are expected to exhibit significantly different optical, electrical and magnetic properties from their bulk 3D crystalline counterparts. So here in nanowires, the diameter of a nanowire should be in a nanoscale but the length may varies up to many meters or the many micrometers. So we have only a diameter restriction for a nanowires. We will have so many types of nanowires, for example, metallic nanowires in that nickel, platinum and AU, semiconducting nanowires, for example, SI, INP, GAN, etc. Insulating nanowires, for example, silicon dioxide and titanium dioxide, molecular nanowires, these are composed of repeating molecular units. It may be either organic, for example, DNA, or it may be inorganic. This is actually a general formula of inorganic nanowire. Next, we will move to the synthesis of nanowires. We have a method called vapor liquid solid mechanism from which there will be a growth of nanowire. All the three states, vapor state, liquid state and solid state involved in the synthesis of nanowires. This is the image which explains you the silicon gr nanowire growth. So this is the schematic diagram illustrating the growth of silicon nanowire by VLS mechanism. At the beginning we are taking a catalyst. You know catalyst is nothing but which increases the reaction or which increases the growth of the silicon nanowire which is in a liquid state. We are taking silicon or any other metal. These are the silicon vapors present around this liquid catalyst. So this silicon vapors will adsorb on the liquid and uh, this liquid state is now further converted into a silicon solid material which is growing one above the other as shown in the figure. This is the nanowire growth um, of silicon and this is the catalyst which is regained after every reaction. So catalyst is not undergoing any physical or chemical changes here or anywhere else. And these are the final products of silicon nanowires. When we discuss it, the properties and applications of nanowires. Nanowires are promising materials for many novel applications. Not only because of their unique geometry, but also because of their possess many unique physical properties. For example, electrical property, magnetic property, optical property and mechanical strength. So, in that properties, some, uh, some are Having a good, for example, some uses of nanowires are data storage or data transfer. They can also be used for this. And in some batteries and generators, transistors, LEDs, optoelectronic devices, biochemical sensors and heat pumping thermoelectric devices. These are some of the applications in which we are using this nanowire. Some of the typical applications of nanowires are in electronic that is optoelectronic and some devices and uh, as additives in advanced composites. In some composites we are using this nanowires as an additives to get a different properties for metallic interconnects in nanoscale quantum devices we are using for interconnections 
of some metallic plates or in, uh, which is having a nano scale size as field emitters